Good morning, DCA. How are you all doing? I am your host, Crypto Mikkel. We are coming today with a news article. Well, articles. Something we're, we're going to try to do here, uh, start doing here on DCA, is just have some morning news articles, reading through a couple of them, and seeing how they go. Help fill out some content for the week, guys. So you're not always just getting live streams at the end of your day. Maybe you want to watch something in the middle of the day. So here we are, guys, with a couple of news articles as well above me. We have the top 10 list that we have going on right this second, guys. Uh, Doji filling in number 10. How about that? So, guys, don't forget today is the Ethereum Hard Fork Ber Berlin Hard Fork, guys. This is happening today. So... We're not really sure of exactly when it will happen, but we know that the block height will be at this specific block height, 12,244,000. Um, so we know that it's going to happen today. We can check block height right, right here on mining pool stats stream, guys. So if you look at this here, we are currently at 122,386,000. So we're looking at hmm interesting interesting oh twelve million two hundred and thirty eight so we are about to fork uh guys here in Probably the next hour or so, I would assume. So we are almost there. We're about 10,000 blocks or so away. So the Berlin official fork is actually, it was scheduled for June or July, but developers delayed, go figure, uh, due to changes during the circuit eco ecosystems, centralized ecosystems, guys. So my God, I put that there at least. Developer was also concerned about a critical dependence on Geth. Now Berlin is officially scheduled for today, as we know, um, because the block production's exact exact timing can vary. Ethereum node operators can be advised to update several days before the scheduled up date. Guys, okay, so what does the Berlin fork do? So they are looking to implement in these EIPs that are in question. The mod, uh, what, EIP 2565, which is mod EXP gas cost. Uh, EIP 2929, gas cost increase. For state access uh, op codes. EIP 2718, typed transaction envelope and EIP 2930 optional access list. Now you can look all these up on, uh, I'm not mistaken, on their GitHub. But the upcoming of these EIPs combined with a network that will cause, uh, will become more secure. Furthermore, the certain process of the overpriced in terms gas costs will be brought in line uh, with their worth. The, the risk of accidental smart contract breaches will also be lowered. Now, guys, I do want to kind of mention that I know NiceHash and a couple other places have actually stopped, will be stopped, like, mining of Ethereum for, like, three plus hours as the fork is happening. A lot of places are. Um, so if you're mining Ethereum, pay attention to where you're mining it at uh, and make sure your, your pool is aware and up to date if they don't, like, go down, you know, uh, during, during the fork. So... Before the node 2.0 or Ethereum 2.0 update, there is a migration of two proof of stake, which we have no idea when it's actually going to come. Uh, it was scheduled for July 2021, but that's uh, not going to happen. It will include EIP 1559, which is coming out today, <clears throat> which updated aim aimed the addressing community concerns about how Ethereum transactions work. London and EIP-1559 will be significant upgrade for Ethereum because they significantly decrease the number of outstanding transactions uh, fees. Transaction fees users will need to pay in, in order to get, like, to use the network. So a base fee will be introduced onto the network, which we know that that isn't really going to change. It'll plus and minus 10%. Um, there will be tips 
implemented in so you can tip the miners in order to push your stuff faster which the bots will be using um, so it the EIP 1559 never like solved anything it, it doesn't solve anything it will make the network more secure but if everybody leaves the network it won't be as secure so we'll see we'll see what's gonna happen with this and this comes out here in a few hours so we'll see what's still gonna uh, yeah so we'll see how that's gonna pan out for them I'm not really sure how ethereum's hard fork is gonna go but I don't know I do want to note that guys today is the day for the coinbase direct listening so the formerly IPO so we got the coinbase offering guys is happening today they were listed uh, you can actually trade them on Weeble and go look at it I will have a, a Weeble link and a first trade link down below that y'all can join up um, and get free stocks when you join up so please use those they help us out uh, we would greatly appreciate it <clears throat> in brief guys so coinbase is going to go public today guys uh i was looking at it on weeble this morning it's still in the pre area now it goes live today about uh, about noonish 1 p.m is what we're kind of looking at right now it's at like i think it's like like 60 cents for the pre-offering um they're I know when you go on the Weeble, it shows uh, 250 uh, straight off the bat, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I, it looks like they'll open up probably above 300, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if we can. No, I can't. There we go. If you can look right, right chair, right above me, there is a. It shows like their listing and everything like that. Um, you can also see here where it shows that you're looking at the buy price and it's going to be 250. That was the limit buy. Uh, as soon as you opened up Weeble um, and looked at it, so it's possible that they'll open up above 300. It looks like they probably will, but we don't really know yet, unfortunately. So, as you can see, right there. So, uh, we'll see how this is going to go. You know, currently, here we're looking at... Uh, I'll pull this up on the bigger chart in like two seconds. But... They are going to go live today. Um, I don't have an exact time, but they are listed and it's in <laughs> free right now. Binance will be doing their, um, their Coinbase stock token coin, uh, which is coin is the ticker for Coinbase as well. So they will be listing this like they did uh, yesterday. Yesterday they listed, or yesterday the day before they listed uh, Tesla, a digital tradable Tesla on the Binance uh, platform, and now they will be doing this with uh, Coinbase as well. So, if you use Binance and you are allowed to use Binance, the original Binance, uh, you can go look at this as a reference stock of 250 guys, as what they're what they're going with. But this will give you a chance to be able to buy fractions of a uh, of a Coinbase token instead of the whole thing. So take it for what you can, guys. As you can see right here, they are listed. We are still in pending. Um, post IPO outstanding. Price range is still pending. We don't know what it's going to be listed as as it goes, but currently listing price is 250 as it sits but we can't get into it yet because we're not an accredited investor we're not cool like that we don't got a million dollars of net worth 
So, I will pop this bad boy open though, guys. And this is with the DCA trading script. You can get the DCA trading script in the description below. It is actually, let me turn that up a little bit. Um, it is with the trading with the view tier. Now that is Jay's tier right here for trading with the view and have the charts. But this is what we got currently. So we'll see how it's going to go. But keep your eyes peeled out. I got a couple orders in lower than 250 because I think that it it should take a nice dip I think as investors and people that are in the pre-game are going to start dumping a little bit I think we'll get a nice dip at first but uh, there's a few people saying that it's going to be around $600 so we'll see keep your head keep your head up much love all of y'all hope you all have a fantastic day and see y'all later tonight on DCA Venture for a live stream. Peace out.